<clears throat> What's up? Not sure how this is going to look as an actual video, but I'm just in the process of getting some stuff tied up, some orders filled out, uh, and I just thought I'd keep you guys, you know, so doing do a little live stream here. Uh, it'll go up as an actual video later on, but you know, if anybody pops in, wants to ask a question, um, great. If not, I'm just going to kind of go through what my workflow looks like for tying up most of my Great Lakes steelhead flies. Um, going to talk a little bit about um, the difference between my commercial ties and my personal ties. Um, in fact, I'm going to the store today to pick up some uh, materials. Um, but, yeah, so um, working right now on one of my uh, kind of almost... I don't say it's a signature. It's just basically a carlonamid style pattern. Um, orange head does a really good job. It's going on alpha and uh, um, can imitate an egg, egg sucking leech or a nymph. And it's usually better, not right now, but it's usually really good like December to February. Um, our fish do very, uh, eat differently um, when the weather changes. In the winter, they're, they're really on the pinks. And so I'm just going to do, it's really simple fly. Quite honestly, it's basically a zebra midge. I don't want to break it down that much, but essentially it's a zebra midge. But large, like this is a size. It's, uh, I believe this is an eight. And it's really easy. So Alpha, if you have a question for me, by all means, go ahead and ask. Um, but I'm just going to tie do a little well, work through my my seasonal tying workflow my desk is an absolute mess I haven't had too much time to do too much so what I sometimes do as an added bit of um, strength to the to these flies because they get pretty much knocked around beaten up um, a white fish thing like I'm talking about, I add some super glue to the top of the bead uh, and then let it uh, sink into the body. That way the bead doesn't shuffle around whenever you tie thinner bodied flies like this. But so whitefish question, uh, are you talking about how to fish for whitefish? Um, I'm no whitefish expert, but I think you can pretty much take them in a similar fashion to most fish in that you find where they would normally congregate throw a uh, natural forage in front of them and then they should eat. But what flies? Boy, oh boy, you're asking the wrong guy. I don't want to give you any false information. Whitefish are not my specialty. I can tell you that quite honestly. Um, that being said, uh, I, I've no, from what I understand, they do take trout flies when you're fishing for trout very frequently. And smaller bass flies too, so I would assume small streamers, um, nymphs for sure, and uh, maybe during this time of the season when you have some fish spawning, they might take eggs. But again, or eggs like leeches even. Again, you're asking the wrong guy. <clears throat> so here's an example of I just finished the body of a fly. I'm going to take it. I put it in some form of of of. Uh, like hackle pliers, this happens to be a plunger style, and I'll set it off to the side to dry. I did that with this one earlier, uh, so this one's pretty much done. Uh, I, I make sure that the, the outer body is smooth, that kind of helps um, the fly stand out. But what I've done before is, is I've set up, so like I'm going to transition into some egg patterns here for commercial use. What I've done is I've tied a bunch of the foundational threadings on the same style fly or the same fly completely and I'm going to be using some Otter Creek uh, soft milking eggs uh, or Otter soft milking eggs rather a lot of people like these for this time of the year and these are super simple uh, especially the ones without a veil they don't want a veil the veil I think is probably the best catch to be honest with you this happens to be a uh, the salmon style egg I'm going to thread it onto this is a rise a risen, risen size four egg hook. 
This is so simple, guys. I throw in a little bit of pink thread. Red thread works too. You want to imitate the yolk. I'm going to take my little bit of super glue. This is the cheapest super glue that, that I can buy because I go through so much of it. I put a little bit on. Oh, that's more than I usually do. Uh, kind of got away from me there. So what I'll do is uh, I'm going to take some, let's see, some, where is it? One of my packages. And I kind of wipe some of it off. Okay. And then I'm going to set this here. And then what I'll do is I'll let it kind of set for a second. Then I take my egg, push it up onto the yolk. Boom. There you go. Uh, size 4 hooks uh, in fast water aren't seen as some people would say. This right here is a fly that will last quite a while. Uh, always double check to make sure that your uh, hook eye is clear. This one is. And then what I'll do is, uh, on size fours like this, I can I can grab them. But if I needed to, you can use haggle pliers. I've gone to the dollar store and picked up this paper clip holder. It's a tin that holds paper clips and it's magnetic. Uh, and what I do is either if it's a smaller fly, I will set it like this so that the magnet holds it off to the side. But with this one, it's a little bigger. And it doesn't take long for super glue to dry. I'll set it up like this, and I'll just let it sit. A lot of guys use cork, too. That works just as well. But on commercial ties, I don't pinch the barbs. And so you don't see a lot of guys. I just saw a comment I wanted to talk about maybe here. Um, let's see. I don't know how to get the comment back up. So if you can, uh, what do you call it, recomment that. Sorry about that. Um, but on commercial ties, I don't pinch the barbs, so I don't want to use cork and then keep ruining the cork. On barbless or pinched myself, I will use that. A couple of other things that I'll use, um, especially recently, is some of those uh, Lucky Tackle Box uh, will submit like uh, these types of soft plastics. These work pretty well, and these work pretty well as well. These are not otter soft milking eggs, but they are very similar. They're soft plastics. Um, <clears throat> a lot of... Uh, these really cool, I don't know if you can see this really, but like it looks translucent and it has a really good yolk inside. Um, that's actually in a size 14. What's the biggest trout I've ever caught in a fly? I don't actually weigh my fish. Um, it would have been like a, a couple inches over 30. Um, that, actually, no, that was conventional. And then the, my biggest on a fly was 28. 28 on a fly, long time ago. Uh, this past year, I caught a 20 on the fly in my tiny little small creek. But I, I, I fish comfortable areas. I don't really go out that very that often to search for more fish, although that might be in the possibility very soon with a couple of companies that I'm, that I'm kind of feeling out uh, that are very into travel. So um, that being said, I... I'm not a, a size guy. 25, that's a beautiful fish. Um, definitely would love to catch a 25 all day, every day, for sure. Um, so basically my, my process is I will put a hook. Oh, we'll just go with this one first. I, I like to put a hook in my vise. I'll grab my whatever I want my yoke to be uh, if I'm tying uh, or, or my body, you know. Uh, but if, usually for egg flies, it's really fast. And then I'll tie a little this just a thread base and then I'll cut it I like I know guys will say like you know it's not traditional to use super glue but works just fine for speed work just the tiniest little bit you can't even hardly see it but it's just to anchor it down okay I'll grab it in some hackle pliers um, one sec my super glue on this other fly is already dry boom good to go hackle pliers Cut it close. There we go. And then this will go off to dry. And then I'll do the same process on whether it be half dozen, 12, full dozen, or whatever. Let's boom. Let's do it again. And by doing this and preparing my hooks, I 
for the same things. Like, I do the same thing whenever I use these beads. I've actually used them on size 4s like this, and it does very well. Okay. Once in a while, I'll throw a little half hitch in, but not all the time. Especially when I'm using super glue. You typically don't need to. So, but this is how I do multiple flies really quickly. Okay? And it's not an, unco an uncommon practice to do that either. So, let's go back to this one. I'm assuming, yeah, it's basically dry already. See how quick that is? It's a fairly quick process. I'm going to, I'll use this right here. Um, thread it on. Same process as my other eggs. Um, usually eggs are like the first thing that people like to try tying. And a lot of guys will get into fly tying based on um, what they like to fish. And usually steelhead fishing is actually something that gets a lot of people into fly fishing and fly tying um, because of, especially in the Great Lakes region, its accessibility. Now for these I'll throw a little more glue on and push that up. Look how pretty that is. See? Boom. Put this, let's see. Again, here. I'll set it off to dry. <clears throat> um, and, and, you know, in the future, if there are any other types of flies you guys want to see tied, I'd love to show you. Uh, only six people in the, in the chat right now. Please rapid fire a couple questions and then I've got to head out. I'm actually going to go buy some more materials here. Um, I like to support my local shops. But, uh,. Another really couple good patterns would be like in, um, uh, what's it called, an Obi-Wan Agnobi or an, uh, an Eggy One Kenobi, I think it's called, where you use um, some uh, materials here, uh, some, some chenille for the worm part, and then an egg. It says, do I tie any uh, leech patterns? Yeah, an egg sucking leech is probably one of the most common one of the most commonly used uh, flies I like to fish whenever it's early season. Um, eggs are ridiculously easy to tie, Josh. Um, that's the first one I'd try. That most most places, even if you are you know go to Dick's Sporting Goods or whatever, you can find um, uh, materials like yarn to tie uh, eggs. Um, egg sucking leech, uh, multiple varieties. You know you can tie it traditionally, or I've even used just some uh, flat chenille. For the head on some marabou body and it does really well variations of that a leech pattern would be like this where it's just a marabou body and a, a bit of um thread uh, as, as the the fly or the egg itself uh I, between there there was a question about um i didn't i didn't see it i'm trying i'm using my ipad right now so i'm sorry about uh missing some of these questions but um was it my favorite nymph leader? Nymph leader, I think. I actually build my own leaders. So I'll use uh, Floro. I'll use... Um, actually, it's right behind me. Umqua makes a, uh, uh, a spool-sized, or tippet spool-sized um, Euro-colored fluorocarbon, and I really like it. You can find ties for two and a half years, but can't get good leech. Hey, a leech will catch fish, regardless of whether it looks pretty or not. Um, my daughter just woke up from her nap, and so oh, I do like to fly fish for carp, Josh, um, but we'll talk about that in a different time because I actually have to go right now. Daddy, you just wait. I appreciate you guys sticking around. Uh, leave any questions you have in the comments uh, once this goes from live to the videos up, um, and I will go ahead and answer those uh, on the way to the store because uh, I'm not driving. Okay? Thanks, guys. Catch you guys on the flip side. All right? Tight lines. Let's see here. Do I...